Welcome to Sovereign Temples. My name is Casey Christine and this is the new Harvest Moon Meditation. And for this meditation, I called upon the collective consciousness in terms of thinking about harvesting as I am a new gardener and I started last year. So this is my second season in gardening and I am here to proclaim If you want to reconnect to your own cycles of life, be open to the possibility of gardening, even if you're in a city and you can get a tiny little pot or a hydroponic, watching a seed take sprout from the dark soil and just all that goes into this cycle of life and it is said I believe it was Wayne Dyer that it is easy to take an apple and say definitely how many seeds are within that apple but who among us can take an apple seed and tell us how many apples will come from it and in this immediate gratification culture that has really um, created some viral programs around trying to force timelines versus trusting the divine intelligent timeline of a cycle for something to really mature so that it can give off the fruit that it is designed to give off. I feel called to really focus on the preparing for harvest during this new moon. So allowing yourself to come into the place where you will be doing this meditation, allowing just an experience of the garden within us and this idea that we always want to be harvesting and how quick it should be might be a viral program that we're running in an area of our life robbing ourselves of the great joy of witnessing the cycle of life and something growing into maturity for any parents out there How fast does your child grow up? For our animals, right? How fast time seems to already go? Why are we rushing anything? Is it the illusion that we think We will be happier in the having of what we are trying to force to come into harvest before it is ready. And that is really the foundation for this meditation. Breathing in through our nose, out through the mouth. On that inhale, seeing that belly expand. On that exhale, seeing that belly button back towards the spine. 
Allowing yourself to kind of pump oxygen as you're breathing in through the nose. And when you breathe out, just make, seeing that oxygen in your spinal column. Seeing the oxygen everywhere in your spine, all in your head. It's calling upon our breath. Now invoking the higher selves. You can always say this with me, higher self. I invoke you to encapsulate me in a diamond field of light for this inner journey. Allowing yourself to feel this swirling resonance around you, Just perceiving it through whatever senses are currently active within you. This diamond light around you. With your breath, let's travel into Gaia, into Earth. As there is no harvest, without the soil. And traveling into this moist, dark, empty space of soil. As you hear the raindrops on the soil, let your consciousness just see it burrowing in the soil. Take a moment for intense appreciation for dirt. Dirt and water and sun and hair being our greatest resources of wealth. And thinking about how grateful and appreciative you are for this dirt and this fertile soil that, given the right nutrients, water and sun, it will take the seed that is planted in it and offer a great harvest as long as we embody the virtue of patience. I'm calling upon our higher self, higher self, I invoke you to assist me in my imagination center right now to travel to this dark, fertile soil that is within me.
invoking assistance of ascended masters to assist in a clearing of any resistance that anyone may be experiencing to assist the higher selves to reveal this fertile dormant yet fertile soil within all the listening ears and open hearts on this meditation right now. Now directing our attention to our heart and our sacral center, that womb space, that masculine space for men, their testes, the connection within the male body, the womb space of the female body, and seeing your heart and the bright red blood that it is pumping. Seeing this dark emptiness of this fertile potential within your creatrix center and see it receiving this flow of red from your heart. That red falling like rain on your sacral center with blood dripping down the root, merging back with Gaia. In the very center of your heart, allow yourself to see this spark of light. This spark is your seeding. This spark of light in the womb space of your heart first must gestate within the dark, fertile soil of our own garden within our creative centers. It will require much blood flow, much inner personal healing through it 
what that spark is ready to plant as what we are moving through that we often carry shame and guilt around what we struggle with what we don't want the world to know is often the seed that has the greatest fruit. It is in our own tending to the seeds. of our heart that we are able to mature and gain clarity around what this seed is really up to and how much rain and sun and time it really needs for harvest. Call upon your higher self. side, there is a flame that is burning within you that gives you life that never goes out. It's your, your light, what you are. But just like when a fire is going and you see these sparks going off to the side, there is a spark that maybe already has planted within your creative womb space, right? that creatrix space within the male or female, sacral energy. Or maybe there's one that is ready to be seeded. Versus digging it up through negative thought patterns as if your thoughts or how you garden and tend to your garden around this seed were to determine the harvest. I'm not talking about feelings. All feelings are welcome for a good harvest. I'm talking about following thought patterns that deplete the soil, that cause droughts, that never lets the sun shine. If your thoughts around what you have seeded 
or what you are being shown, you are ready to seed. We're really the indicator of the harvest that you were going to receive because it is. How would your harvest be? There is no judgment allowing your higher self to reveal to you, higher selves reveal to us where our harvest would be based on our thoughts right now so we can compassionately witness, not go into judgment, but compassionately witness as it is in the witnessing that things can transform. Reveal the harvest based on where we allow our thoughts to currently travel right now. My friends, it is time to weed the garden. These weeds, these viral program thoughts are robbing us of a joyful gardening time, are taking up so much space within the fertile soil to nourish our divine seeds that create new paradigms of heaven on earth. Our feelings, our true north star, our compass that our heart is offering to us is letting us know when we are thinking thoughts that are in alignment with our higher self or if we are following thoughts from programming that is meant to keep us separated and in fear and in judgment in comparison the list goes on May this new moon energy remind you of the power of the dark, empty soil and how necessary going within and doing any weeding and soil preparation in terms of nourishing and that includes eliminating listening to any toxic programming what we're watching listening consuming in our garden what we're consuming that gives us energy. Drinking of the light of your higher self and your own life force energy versus scrolling. Just become aware of how your choices of tending to this soil can add holy fertilizer 
into your garden or toxic chemicals. And then you need never want for anything because the soil knows what to do and will create a bountiful harvest. The gardener's job is to keep the soil right and not put toxins in it. Make sure it gets the water. Make sure it's in an area for sun. Make sure, make sure, make sure if you're doing organic gardening, you are out there weeding You are out there knowing companion plants and who to surround your seeds with so that it can either support their life or it chokes them. You are a gardener and the moon cycles can greatly assist you if you allow the illumination phase and the dark phase to be reminders of these cycles in our own life. I'm going to leave the music on for a little bit. I invite you to continue to breathe and allow your higher self and the energy of the dark moon to offer you any insights around tending to your soil or in any seeds that are already there or ready to be planted there. And then surrendering into being able to trust that the soil does know what to do even better than us and the timeline needed so that you can come into peace. and just be in awe of being the witness. Versus controlling how the seed wants to grow and how fast. I hope you get out in nature and into Gaia's garden and connect your garden to hers over this dark moon cycle. Allow the resonance of the music to carry you with your higher self into receiving more direct revelations from your own heart on how to be the best gardener you can be for your greatest harvest. All my love and light. Namaste. Namaste.